Hello, Alps is here, and welcome to part 9 of Mafia 3. <laughs> so now today, we have to confront, or confront, Andrew, Andy, Andy. I, <laughs> I was in two mindsets of what to say then. So, we have to confront Andy. So I'm going to try and find a way to sneak in. Oh, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. There's got to be a round around here. There's got to be something around here. Nothing, okay. All right. It looks like then I'm going to have to go guns blazing. But I did try and see off camera if I can get a suppressed uh, like pistol. And you cannot. So I have to wait in order to get that later in the game. So. Going to fucking work five minutes? What's the point of that? We got these we two here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Look, that's how it works. Those huh? little slips of paper what? tell us who Over here. What, all that shit. So Come on. Dead. It's making us look weak. To who? Are you two talking still? Boom! Cover him, cover him, cover him. Gain, gain. Over here. Over here. No, don't need the gun. Don't need the gun. Do not need the gun. Oh, you're coming over quickly, ain't you? No, you don't need the gun. You don't need the gun. No. Bang, baby. Because you're getting a knife to the throat. All right, sentry guy is there. Got to watch out for him. And there's a guy over there as well. So if we try and go around. Look who I found. Fucking hell. Split you what? Wide. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Well, I try not to. Go on, go on. Pop your head. Oh, pop your head. And he's going to notice that one, isn't he? Go on. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. pop. Oh. Ah, all right. Little dick bag. Oh, filthy. No one. No one. No because I am indoors. I am indoors. Well, okay, you're the way over there. We don't really care about you at the moment. We just want Andy. Andy, can you? Well, I'm on. Uh, lucky uh. shot. Andy, sir. Killed another one of us. Taking cover. Oh, you're dead, mate. Andy, Andy, come out. You never see coming. Take him down. Fuck me. Oh. You gotta Fuck me. Oi, fuck you. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Give me to a Oh. All right, I've had enough, Andy. Give me your shit. I've had enough of your crap. All right. Get it, boy. Either you kill me or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, let's get this to Beetle. So it's one racket apiece they the have now. Union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good mm. job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get this in. Let's go to that warehouse and kick Greco's ass, and then give him to Vito. Sweet. I do feel they could have been improved the Mafia storyline a bit. I know you guys are like, what? But they could have done the bank heist that we done first in the game in the middle. So we built our way up like we are now. And then Sal Mercano comes in and well, kills today, us. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, 
It's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the Commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Because <laughs> Vito's smart and he knows what he's doing. All right, now we have another district. Okay, taking down one of the district rackets, go after each lieutenant to bring him out. Fair enough. So now, what are we going to do? We're going to go here. Oh, let me take my ride. <laughs> oh, no, I turned up in the dairy. But that's the way you got to do it. <laughs> Ain't too bad, really, this little dairy thing. Whoa. I know some people were complaining about the driving as well, apparently. The hit squad. You can call a hit squad now. Oh, sweet. And how it's saying it weren't realistic, like, you can drift every corner and everything. But it's... It's Matthew, like, you can turn on, like, a real... A realistic driving um, simulator that's in the options apparently of Mafia. So, why don't you turn that on and see what that's like? I don't mind the driving, it's actually alright, ain't too bad. Now, obviously, it's a little upgrade from number two. Like, number two was all clunky and everything and big, but that's what they tried to do with the style of the cars. But eh, I love Mafia 3 anyway, so <laughs> I don't really care. I'm not just going to sit there complaining about Mafia all day because I really don't. Because I love Mafia. I'm a fanboy. <laughs> Alright. Hey. Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco uh... bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his uncle Sal would give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. Hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you uh, ask just right. Sweet. All right, take down some of Roy's guys as well. All right, so we got a couple of missions to do. All right, I'm gonna rob you a motor, mate, if you don't mind. <laughs> just um, sitting there, nice and pretty. Uh, you can have the dairy truck. That one's. You might like that, Val. But I'm gonna take your truck. Oh, this thing's a beast. Not quick. I'm going to have to pick up a sports car. going to have to rob someone's sports car. Very soon. Uh, should have robbed that, really. But hey ho, 20,000 worth of damage. Right, I want to go in. Uh, that's why I want the silenced pistol, so I can just... So I can go in stealthily and just shoot up everyone without even knowing, so I'd be a little ghost. Yeah, well, watch where you go, mate. Where the hell are you guys? Oh, you're down in the basement. Oh, this could be easy. Oh, if you're down here, then it's going to make me a lot easier. Alright. <laughs> Cheers, boys, for being all the way down here. Huh? Whoosh! as well this is a lot easier all right pick up this electric part as well because i'm probably not going to be down here fix the goddamn bolt when the engine starts smoking i might as well have a fucking spotlight on me i won't put myself in that position again okay then In the water I go, in the water I go. Alright, as long as I take the sentry guy out, I don't really care if I get a look. Oh, 
Alright, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't worry about a thing. It's gonna be alright. Everyone's dead. Except from that guy over there. Seriously, if your boss was dead, you really would not retaliate if he was over there, would you? You'd be like, oh, nope. Bye. I'm gone. I'm gone. So we gotta go back that way anyway, because I've got to burn the rest of that stuff. Alright, this one went too hard. Alright, I really want to change my clothing, but... If you guys know how I can change my clothing, that would be nice. Nice, set, set, fire. Alright, 12,000 damage done. Alright, let's go do this one. Rob the warehouse. Well, <laughs> we can do that, don't you worry. Oh, oh, thank you. Sweet, and there's another electrical part here. No? Holster my weapon, sir. Stuff it is. These are probably their cars anyway. Oh, why smash it? Why? Why? It's their cars most probably. Oh, this is nice. Oh, pretty quick as well. Nice. Oh, I like this. It's got flavour. It's got deficit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's just been ripped off. Oh, uh oh, oh. Don't mind. Don't mind. Oh, oh don't mind me. I'm right, trying to create as less noise as possible. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Oh, Boom. And done. Where is he? Is he just be honest? Oh, he is. How many people around here? Huh? Oh, hello. Oh, it's some. Huh? Come on. Come on. Come here. Boom! Oh, that's the last drink you'll be drinking, mate, is your blood. Is that... That's about... Oh. Okay, then. I would love if I had a grenade right now, but you know, you can't always have what you want. Can't always have what you want. Can't always have what you want. Sneaky, sneaky, does the job. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, duck cover roll. Okay, and now that's, that's clear. Boom! Cheers, boys. And that is everything in here. Hey, right, love you. What? Where'd you come from? Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I was say, where did you come from? Oh, we gotta set this. We gotta do. Oh, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Lovely, lovely. Well, let's just do it in this warehouse, really. Once we destroy all this, it's gotta be done. I was about to say, bang, bang, boom. And last but not least. Bang, bang. Lovely. Uh, might as well take the truck. So they got two more as well, but what is the point? What is the point of doing them when we can just go talk? Might as well. Might as well just go talk to the man. Already took out everything worth taking out. I don't see what what is the point of taking out the others. We've even robbed their truck. <laughs> We've even robbed that. So I think it's a win-win for me. I think taking out everything, robbed everything from the warehouse, and we've even just stole their motor. Lovely, 
So off camera, I need to go around and do all these wire taps over here, as you can see on the left there, and collect all the parts off camera as well. I know I've got 19 of them, but I might as well pick up everything else on the map as well. I know it's pointless to collect them because you don't get no reward for them, but they might have taken a DLC, you never know. Uh, Roy, or Carney, Carney, I've got you a little van as well if you want that. Oh, don't mind. Don't mind, love. Okay. Carney, I'm home. Yeah, might as well. Anybody We've done it already. You? Roy is rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. <laughs> Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vita will turn things around. You'll see. Ah, right, so you're on our side anyway. Confront Roy. Alright. Let's go confront him. Oh, uh, mate, I'm gonna rob your car again. You don't mind, do you? Alright, sweet. Cheers for that. What? No! Love, what? It was my van! It's my truck! Oh, love, don't worry about it. Hello? Yes. We need help right away. No, no, no. Coming no. Out of car stolen at River Row. If you can spare a moment, maybe stop and check things out. No, 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 no. I weren't stating it. I was just borrowing it. But Connie knows that I'm going to give it back. Because I'm just going to confront Roy. That's all. That's all. Don't worry about it. Right, oh, it's in these bloody warehouse. Drive round, drive round, so we can see an opening. Alright, the only opening has got to be here. Around here, then. Where's this opening for this? Oh, ain't ah. Oh. Well done, Al. Well done. You drive all the way round, you dumbass. When the entrance is at the front door. Alright, Roy, you're going down. You're going down like Chinatown. Town. Boom. Alright, there's no one seems to be around. I'm gonna pick up that tech vest because oh that's Vest, lovely. Okay. Oh, money. I'll have that. Thank you. Always take some money. Promotions come alive. No, 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 no. There's me wanting to go stealth, yeah? Whoa, he looked like a ghost. Oh, well, 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 well. This was meant to be all quiet. And all stealth, but you know, things do grow tits up now and again, and uh, you have to. to run now, boy. Where are you? You have to bite the bullet and just kick people's asses, okay? Oh, you're getting done. He he's over here! Bang, bang, bang! Whoa, boom! Boom! Okay, you're. You're a sentry geezer. I thought you would have been alerting already. But hey. How's your afternoon treating you? Good? Oh, that's a bit mean. Oh, okay. You're there. Ow, ow! <laughs> He's coming to this phone. <coughs> oh, this. <laughs> oh, what a dumbass. Yeah, mate, I'll run to the phone where he is. Lovely. Oh, okay. He's still dead? Are you still up? Oh, now you're dead. Now you're dead. Alright. Roy. Right. Oh, <laughs> he went over. Oh, he went over. <laughs> that was sick. What? Where are you going? Over there. Shoot him for fuck's sake. Bam, 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 bam. 
Da noch mal jemand, ich mein... Da noch mal jemand. Nimm Zeit, Miss. Nimm Zeit. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now that has got to hurt. That was lucky I got that shot. Fuck me! Alright, mate, you don't mind that. Oh, you got a sniper as well, eh? Go on. Are you out of your mind? It's got me pinned! Oh, one more cheeky shot! It's got me pinned! Woo! Woo! Lovely. You alright, Roy? How you doing? Yeah, good? Yeah? Alright. You listen here now, bro. You don't want to do this. They'd have killed your ass anyway. Oh! Oh, cheeky! <laughs> I done that guy that got as running towards the gun. All right, Vito, here, yeah, mate. Got you another one. There you go, Vito. I do want to stick towards Vito within this sort of playthrough. I'll to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. Retaliation squad. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want, but don't kill him. That's for me. Sweet. Oh, okay. Finally set out a, <laughs> a unit to try and take us out. He's had enough already. Well, Sam, I can't all come for your ass. Okay, so we've done quite a bit in this episode. We've taken out two people. Taken over that. Bang, 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 bang. Welcome, boys. Just coming. Where else is yours? <laughs> that guy was trying to get to the phone, though. Bang. I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic. And I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Klimbach. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had. There was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about the medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped think except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Ah. Oh. Damn. Woo. And I'm going to leave it here for part 9. So if you did enjoy this video, then leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the comment that one. Boom, 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 boom. See you guys later around. I'll catch you in my next video. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Where are they? Come on, baby. Come. Oh. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Oh. Sammy had men all over the place. And one of them worked at a...